and welcome to today's video. If you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Rosa and I have rebanded my channel. If you guys ha haven't noticed my intro in the beginning, I now do mostly reselling and traveling type videos, so I thought it would be appropriate to rebrand my YouTube channel as well without like kind of telling people, oh, I do a lot of spooky videos too. I really don't. I do that during the October season. So today's video is my what sold on eBay for January of 2018. Um, if you guys watched last week and last week's video, I did a Poshmark what sold on 2018 and or what sold on Poshmark in January 2018. So if you guys are interested in Poshmark, make sure to go ahead and check out that video. But if you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Rosa and I resell part time on eBay and Poshmark as well as vlog whenever I go on vacation. So those are the videos you guys are going to see on this channel mostly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't and join the Briar Patch fam. Remember, we have fun here all the time. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I sold on eBay was a flat Fabletics Women's Diana black and white bomber jacket with palm trees on it. I sold that for $17 with free shipping. I sold a Joie Women's Peasant Floral Top for $20 with free shipping and I got a positive review on that which was legitimate. You guys can totally see my sports bra under here. Oh, real cool Rosa, get it together girl. Next I shipped a bundle of nail polishes by Deborah Lipman and I sold those for $10 with free shipping. I sold an Athleta Women's Long Sleeve Purple Tunic for $20 with free shipping. A one world and all of that's and so oh, I forgot to tell you guys so I thrifted the Fabletics I thrifted the Joie the Deborah Lipman I got on all cosmetics wholesale the Athleta I thrifted the one world women's peacock feather top was actually gifted to me by my grandmother to sell on eBay so the eleven dollars and sixty nine cents uh, is for me there's nothing like taking out of it except for the eBay fees and uh, the shipping next was my favorite ever sell for January and it was my Dear Creatures Mod Cloth Anthropology Lemon Dress or Lemon Slices Dress or Orange Slices. Sold that for $53.99 plus $6.99 shipping. I sold a Rag & Bone Jean Dark Gray Long Sleeve Top for $22.49 plus free shipping. I sold a United States sweater short sleeve. This was given to me by my aunt, so I just sold it for what I thought it would sell for, and it was it sold for six dollars twenty nine cents plus free shipping. Next, I sold a Clark's Artisan tie lace black leather um, shoes for twenty five dollars plus six ninety nine shipping. I sold a laser disc, uh, the Exorcist laser disc. Uh, for $8 plus $6.99 shipping. I sold my Too Faced La Matte Pitch Perfect Lipstick for $11.69 plus free shipping. I sold my very first video game in the month of January and I sold that for $2.68 plus $3.48 shipping. This one was Watch Dogs for the Xbox One. I sold another laser disc, the Modal Combat laser discs for $10 plus $6.99 shipping. Sold a red and black floral women's top for $8 with free shipping. This was a top from my grandmother. She gave it to me to sell. I sold a mother women's faux leather uh, leather pants for $14 plus free shipping. These were actually messed up and they weren't like the best mother jeans. Like they, Mother is a really good brand to pick up at Goodwill but or anywhere you find a mother uh, for a really cheap price to resell because you can get high value for it but my pants I think they were really really small they were a size 26 plus they were leather plus there were stains on it so I was happy to get $14 for them honestly because that was a mess up on my part I sold my Kate Spade women's gray 100% cotton top I got a positive review on it as well and I sold it for $41.39 plus free shipping please find me more Kate Spade cardigans I love selling them I get really good prices for them a really good selling point for them so that was great I just kind of gave away this Nike women's polka dot gray golfing shirt. I sold it for 99 cents plus 348 shipping. I also kind of gave away this choice women's gray. This was mine. Choice women's gray uh, jumpsuit for 99 cents plus four dollars and fifty three cents shipping. And I got positive reviews on both of those. So at least I paid for the reviews. Kind of. That's good. I sold Daniel Rain Teal Sleeveless Pleated Top for $5.50 and I messed up and I sold it for free shipping and I was like, oh 
I made nothing on this. All right, next was a Jam's World Women's. This one sold so fast, you guys. Like, within a couple of days, sold it for $26 with free shipping. Jam's World, even, like, newer tags, it'll sell. Like, this was a newer type of Jam's World tag. It wasn't the one that you normally see when you find vintage. It was a newer tag. So I was like, oh, my God, thank you. Next, I sold a Nike Dry Fit Athletic Tennis Running Shorts for $1.92 plus $3.64 shipping. Sold Vince Camuto Women's Long Sleeve Top. For $17.99 plus free shipping, sold my 41 Hawthorne Stitch Fix Women's Top. I'm not going to pick up 41 Hawthorne anymore. It just doesn't sell very well for me anymore. I don't know if it's very saturated in the community, but it's not really selling for me for a high value anymore like it used to. Um, I just put that up on auction for $4.26, but I messed up and didn't add shipping, so I paid for the shipping as well, so I gave that away. It's okay, though, because... I sold a Logo Lounge by Lori Goldstein top for $22 plus free shipping. I messed up again and put something on auction without the free shipping, so I sold it, I sold this Requirements Teal short sleeve top for $1.42 with free shipping. Oh, the kimono did sell. I was wondering about that kimono. I forgot about it. Um, so a cabby style kimono Japanese type top sold for $15 for, for bleh, with free shipping. We have these Kensi Harem Tribal print pants size. I'm not sure what size they are. Uh, I sold them for $1.48 plus $3.75 shipping. I sold a Loft Career Geometric. Always pick up Ann Loft if it's really good. I honestly do pick up mall brands. Um, it was actually very like a breath of fresh air that the Deal Queen does that as well because I was very nervous to be picking up all these mall brands. But if they are good condition, if they are pretty recent, you can pick them up and you can sell them for okay money. I sold this one for $15 plus $4.10 shipping. Sold some Michael Stars. I'm never picking up Michael Stars again. That was like a waste of money. Um, I sold it for $0.99 cents with free shipping. Girl, I don't even know. Don't even ask me. Um, I sold a pair of J. Crew Matchstick jeans for $2.59 because they were not selling. So I got rid of them. I'm making a lot more smart choices. Finally, a lot of this stuff was picked up a long time ago. I sold a Diletta Anthropology Women's Top for $3.25 with free shipping because apparently I can afford all this free shipping when it's not like more than $10. Um, next, I sold a Lululemon Women's Black Mesh Top. You guys recently saw this in a haul. Um, I sold it for $29.25 with free shipping. Now that's something I can justify giving free shipping for because it was $30. So it's like free shipping is like what, three bucks on it or something? Four bucks on it. Next, I sold another video game. This is the Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Um, $4.32 plus $2.66 plus $2.66 shipping. I sold The Last of the Mohicans for $5. It's a laser disc with free shipping. I don't even know how that even happened, the free shipping but it happened. I sold the How Do Ye Floral Blue and Pink Women's Top for $12.50 with free shipping. I sold an Athleta Heather Gray Super Soft Athletic Top for $16.19 with free shipping. We got this Bowdoin Women's Tan Work Career. Actually, right after I complained about solids not, like, I don't remember if you guys remember that video of solids not um, not selling for me for Bowdoin dresses. This one literally sold like the day after I filmed that video. Um, I sold for $29.99 plus $6.99 shipping. Sold a pair of these NYDJ Ariel pants. Uh, these are just crop polka dot pants. $3.12 plus $6.99 shipping. Sold this women's Chico black lace overlay. Finally, I put it on auction on eBay. Both of those actually. This one uh, auctioned, uh, it sold for $10.50 plus $4.49 shipping. We sold a couple of video games here. We sold um, NBA, NBA 2K9 for uh, PlayStation 3 for $0.99 plus $2.66 shipping. Sold Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor $10.50 plus $2.66 shipping. Sold an Island Fisher Women's Cotton Ivory Top. This actually had a stain on it, so I did have to sell it for a little bit less. I sold it for $30 plus $6.99 shipping. We got this Juicy Couture Velour. Oh my god, okay, I need to tell you guys a little quick story about this. So this specific buyer bought this for $0.99 cents plus $5.50 shipping, but then he sent me like 
because he asked me for my PayPal stuff and I was like, um, I don't think we should do this over PayPal. We need to do everything for eBay. Then he basically, the end of the day is he paid me $15 for this juicy couture top. He just sent me some money via PayPal. I was, and then he told me that it looks like I need to eat. I was like, what? <laughs> Whatever, I mean, I'm blessed to manifest a little extra money. That was great. Um, he hasn't hacked into my account or anything. Nothing crazy happened after that. So I was like, okay, just a nice Samaritan wanting to give me more money for this stuff. Anyways, next I sold a LuLaRoe Classic Tea in Olive Green. I sold it for $15 with free shipping. LuLaRoe, honestly, it's dying. I did buy a few more this time, but LuLaRoe is really just like not selling for a lot anymore. So if you guys still want to pick up LuLaRoe for like $5 or under, I say go ahead and do it because you will make probably about 20, 25 bucks. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't even made 25 bucks in a while on LuLaRoe, so. Next was a Classiques NTA Women's Career Top for $15 free shipping. Finally solved, oh god, this was like the worst purchase ever, the Zara Basic Khaki Metallic Button. I feel like if I did take some time and iron them out, it probably would have sold for more, but I do not iron my stuff. I do not have time for that. I got a 9 to 5 or dude. Like, I cannot take the time to iron stuff. Um, sold it for $1.50 plus plus three seventy five shipping. Sold Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic for $16.36 plus $2.99 shipping. Sold No More Heroes video game for $9.50 plus $2.66 shipping. I sold this Equipment Femme 100% Silk top for $23 with free shipping. Sold this Juicy Couture Navy Blue track jacket for $21 plus $6.99 shipping. The larger, the larger Juicy sells. Small Juicy does not sell. Large Juicy, you gotta be large, extra large. That will sell, at least for me, that's what I've noticed. Next, I sold this Athleta Black Athletic Yoga Running Top for $14 plus free shipping. Sold this Express, Express, Express Women's Design Studio Edition Shorts for $1.25 plus $3.75 shipping. Sold this Uncharted Drake's Fortune plus a doll, uh, for $1.55 plus $2.66. And then the last two was the Tommy Bahamas Men's Floral Button. It's the one that I just showed you guys. Um, I sold it for $30 on eBay. And I, for the whole time, okay, whenever I said Tommy for your mommy, I always thought Tommy Hilfiger and Tommy Bahamas was like the same thing. For some reason, while I was editing it, I'm like, what the heck? No, Tommy Bahama is different than Tommy Hilfiger. And I was like, I knew this. Why did I say this on camera? But the Tommies were making me confused, okay? So... Yeah, I have the Tommy Bahama shirt. I'm always gonna pick up Tommy Bahama at this point if it has a beautiful print on it, to be honest. Not like anything plain. Like these Hawaiian shirts are legit, so beautiful. $30 and I got a positive review on it. Uh, then the final thing I sold on eBay was a Total Recall laser disc for $8.09 plus $3.17 shipping. Now I do wanna tell you guys really quickly for all the electronic type things that I was selling, whether it was a laser disc or a Video game, I did get those for free. So my ex-boss, um, she's no longer with the company, she gave me two big boxes because her husband really loves video games, but he only plays them twice and just lets, lets them sit there. So she gave me two huge boxes. I haven't even listed the second box yet. I'm gonna work on listing that maybe next, uh, probably not next weekend, but like later on, maybe during the week sometime this week, I'm gonna work on taking photos and stuff. Um, Gave me two big boxes. So I've just been putting everything on auction and seeing like where they go because it's really good to keep auctions on your eBay because it keeps your eBay moving even if you don't list things. Um, it keeps it moving because you have auctions. So the video games was a, were, were basically perfect to put on auction so I could um, sell them uh, and keep my keep my stuff moving. So that was everything in this eBay haul. Also the laser discs, discs were given to me for free as well by Richard's dad we're trying to get rid of all of his laser discs they're very 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 slow moving these laser discs um but they're selling slowly but surely so hopefully by in a couple of years we'll get rid of all of his laser discs so he doesn't need them anymore oh something went in my eye anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't joined the bright patch fan and we have fun here all the time and i'll see you guys all in the next video Bye bye Yo, what's up i'm the man Really matter Cause I'm the mad head <laughs>